Ever wonder what's inside of a string switch? Let's find out. Hey internet, I'm that guy bud. We've got a quick one today. We're gonna do a teardown on an AbleNet string switch. I picked mine up online for about 60 bucks. We're gonna take it apart, see what's inside, and see if there's a way to make it cheaper. Here we've got the AbleNet string switch. It's a pretty simple device. Let's get it out of the bag and take a better look at it. Let's plug in the switch and show how it works for people who are unfamiliar with it. To activate this switch, you just tug on this string. It has a very light action. This is probably the lightest action I've ever seen in a switch. This is a momentary switch, so it does not function like a lamp pull chain switch. It's much easier to activate. So far, we can see the project box, the string coming out of the side, and the cable coming out of the bottom. Okay, let's tear into this thing. On the back side, we've got six screws. I know the four screws on the corner are to open up the case, so let's get those out. Now let's open it up. Nothing special really inside. A little strain relief for the cable. Nothing is glued down inside other than the string where it attaches to the switch. Let's get a closer look at the switch. The cable is soldered to these two contacts. It looks like this metal piece may be a custom part, so let's look up this switch. Well, that didn't take very long. I actually found out that it's a pretty common switch. It's a Honeywell V7 series switch, which is commonly found in appliances. I found out that the long straight piece, the part that I assumed was custom, is actually a standard offering for this switch. It was originally straight and about 60 millimeters long. The only difference is that AbleNet bent it here and here. That's all that was done to modify this switch for this item. The box itself is an Amerix Unibox 110. It's a very nice project box and it's made in the US. The switch as of today's filming costs about $4.50 if you're buying just one, and a little more than half that if you're buying in bulk. The enclosure itself is available on eBay for about four to six dollars. The cable will set you back around three to six bucks depending on the quality you spring for. Some strings, some glue, a zip tie. Altogether, you should be able to build this for between 13 and 20 dollars in parts. 20 if you match the quality of the original, less if you get a cheaper cable in case. Would I spend 60 dollars on it? Probably not. It's an off-the-shelf cable, an off-the-shelf switch, and an off-the-shelf enclosure. There's nothing custom about this switch whatsoever, and it's not worth the $60 asking price. I'm gonna seal mine up and send it back. If you wanna build your own, there's links to the parts in the description. I hope you enjoyed this teardown video, and as you saw, this item is pretty simple. If you have questions about this video or suggestions for future ones, you can leave them in the comments below or reach me on Twitter at thatguybud. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, we'll see you next time.